Hey, Jeremy Bates here, Buffalo Modular Homes. We're down here by the beach, uh, just off of Lake Erie near Mickey Rats and uh, Turtle Jacks is just down the street over here. We're setting a, a very nice 1,400 square foot, three bedroom, two bath, uh, ranch house, uh, really a, a weekend cottage for a very nice family. And you can see behind me, half of the house has been set. Uh, and is on the crawl space, the five foot uh, poured concrete crawl space. Uh, and here's the other half over there, getting ready, getting uh, set up to, to be craned over and set on. It's about, uh, it's about, excuse me, 10.30 in the morning and uh, we'll be done and buttoned up uh, at about one. So it's a pretty cool process and it's a fun time. Set day is always a great time. In fact, look, I've got my family here joining me. They came out to say hi. Ooh, Buffalo that's, Modular Homes. That's my beautiful <laughs> wife, Nia. And this is my lovely little Lena Pearly. And this is baby Nigel. Say hi, Nigel. Say hi, baby Nigel. <laughs> Set day is a great time because you you know you you've got this foundation in the ground, um, and uh, the neighbors go off to work, and uh, there's just a foundation. They come back and there's a whole house totally erected in one day, so it's a really fun time. We usually have a pizza party and invite the customers to come out and join us and uh, celebrate the start of a, of some new beginnings with their beautiful new home. So I'll give you a couple more uh, video updates on this house. I'll do some walkthroughs here in a little while. And so keep an eye out for those. Here's the footers for the front porch. There's half of the front porch there and you can see the support column. There's the roof laying flat. There's our board foundation with rubber wrap and a pressure treated silk plate bolted in on top. There's our support columns on footers down the middle of the house there. And down towards the end there, we've got a, uh, we'll have a glass block window there on that side and one on the other corner for ventilation. But look at that built-in front porch, that's beautiful. Really nice, big front porch. And uh, faces over there to the lake. It'd be great for the family for entertaining in the summertime kicking back on the Adirondack chairs. That's the living room there we're looking at. And those uh, two by fours, those vertical two by fours, those are in for shipping. Those are just temporary and once the house gets buttoned up, we'll take those out and uh, you can see some pass through ways there uh, down the middle of the house. Look like bedroom, bedroom doors there. But here's the other module on the other side. We're getting ready to load this up. We got that transom window there. Uh, that will be in the master bedroom. And that transom window will be uh, uh, really nice to be able to go above the, uh, the headboard and uh, have that in the bedroom. Get that nice uh, morning light in there. Okay, so I just snuck into this house while we're still setting it and uh, here's the front door obviously off of the uh, built-in porch. We've got a, a wood-burning fireplace here. Uh, beautiful. And we've got the living room here, a couple of windows. We've got temporary bracing here between these rooms which will come out. And so the, this living room and kitchen will all be wide open to one another. And so we've got a very nice kitchen oak ca uh, cabinets with stainless steel appliances, micro hood, gas range, side-by-side -side fridge. We've got a two-tiered island here for uh, bar chairs to sit up, bar stools. And we've got uh, bookshelves on the end. And we've got a, a cute little nook with built-in benches that you can put your table uh, next to. 
got carpet on the floor. We've got some ship loose items here, and that'll come out. Um, that's some siding, different things. We've got the carpet underneath it, but it's all plastic sheeted to uh, keep it um, keep it nice and, and uh, free of debris. Here is the linoleum in through the nook, and I'll walk walk back a little further. A little linen closet. Bedroom one, bedroom two, closet, and here's the master bedroom. A uh, big transom window there, which will go above the headboard. And uh, got a, a small walk-in closet here. And then at the end here, we've got, uh, oops, still the doors are, Closed for shipping. There's the master double vanity, oak cabinets, tub shower combo, and a uh, cute little half wall enclosing the water closet. I love that window though. Ceiling fan with a light. It's going to look great.